What's up guys from Cape Canaveral, Florida? My name is Michael Marks. I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tip here and uh, it's about water in the gas tank. I know of a lot of boaters that come, kind of cro come across this problem every now and then and, uh, and I had it here re recently. So obviously before we go any further you need to take precautionary measures on gasoline. It, it's highly flammable. It will absolutely go boom on you. So take the precautions, okay? and uh, find a container that you can put the gasoline in and uh, dispose of it correctly. Thank you much. That was my, my rep. All right. Anyway, um, yes, I had water in my gas, which I pretty much dumped this item uh, several times when I was out on Ski Island the other day. And so, you know, there's a, probably a lot of recipes for getting the water out of the gas tank. I really didn't know a lot. Um, but my buddy Gary, thanks Gary, he is a marine mechanic, he goes, dude, there's no reason for you to go on ahead and take it to the um, uh, uh, boat master for them to pump it out because they will, they have, they have really nice equipment, they'll pump this stuff, you know, right out of the gas tank and right back into your gas tank, I mean, uh, for a fee, of course. And, you know, there's some other online tutorials which you can have a little pump and, you know, you can put it on the end of your drill and you can drill it out. And he says, Michael, dude, he says, I, I, I know exactly what you need to do. And he says, I just did this today, matter of fact, for a costly penny. So I'm going to show you this tutorial uh, that anybody can do on their boat and which I hope will kind of save you money and time as well. So here we go. I had water in the gas, like I said. I went down here and I, uh, I must have taken this thing off five times to empty it out. Okay, but he said, dude, all you have to do is come around here to your motor and take this off, which I've already undone. You know, this is your feeder hose to your, to your engine. Take this off, okay, which I've already undone. Let's take it off, okay. And the thing was also that um, I didn't, oops, excuse me. I couldn't get a vacuum. I couldn't get anything, you know, I thought, okay, gravity, you know, thinking this is going to work. Even my, I did. I, I got to drill those things and I, I did do that. And I spent $15 on it. He says, dude, you don't need to do that. This is how you do it. So, you ready, guys? All right. So, you take your pump valve and all you have to do is just take this, sorry, stick it in a container or whatever have you. And I, I recently did this, so there's a little bit more fuel in there. And all you got to do is just start pumping. And I said, what? I said, no. He says, do it. Now, all you, you'll see gasoline. See, when I pump this, there's gasoline right there. Okay, I'll pump it again. Boom, boom. It's bringing up more fuel, more fuel. And bingo, bango. All of a sudden, you'll have gasoline pouring in there. And I'm not going to do it that much. But trust me, uh, this works and it's going to cost you. There it comes. There it is. And I can fill this thing up and fill this thing up and get all the water out. Obviously, the water will come down here to the bottom and it'll sink. So that's a small little tip that for all you boaters, just grab your ball valve, start squeezing it, put it in the container, and the water will come out. And I know what you're saying. You're going, Michael, dude, I didn't see any water. Well, just let me turn the camera off and let me show you. Let me show you these bad boys. All right, so here we go. In HD, this is what you don't want. In a way, it kind of looks really cool. I know. It kind of reminds me of the, uh, what are those, wax candle kind of things? Yeah, I know. And this is uh, something that I, I, I kept, you know, filling these glass jars up. I don't know if you have glass jars, but if you do, that's great. But uh, actually, these were spaghettis spaghetti stuff that you put spaghetti in. Somebody gave me as a gift and I never did use them. I said, hey, it'd be great to at least see the water in there. And lo and behold, yes, we see the water. Here, you want to see the stuff again? This kind of looks, uh, in, in HD, it'd probably look pretty cool, but not in my boat. So, and also I figured out that this is probably the possibility. One day I came back here and yes, lo and behold, I didn't tighten this thing down far enough. My bad. So it was kind of left open in a little bit, and I believe some just some rainwater got in. So always make sure this stuff is tight 
and hopefully you're going to learn something right you know by this that uh you know put some money and time back in your pocket to get back out on the ocean to get back out on ski island and have a good day all right well that's the tip of the day remember just use your ball valve and uh you'll be good to go all right i'm michael marks port canaveral florida have a good cruise see you later bye